very much. Thank you, Jim. Um, look forward to doing that play with you next <laughs> next month. You announced to everyone. It's great. It's like a radio play, so there's no practices. Six rehearsals, three performances, no pay. Fuck you. <laughs> I thought I'd sneak in by the way, do you want to go first for the working class? I was like, yeah, I'll go first, because then that means I won't get too drunk by the time it's my second poem. <laughs> then reverse order kicks in, I thought it was a knockout tournament. <laughs> Unfortunately, most of the things that I've ever written is about class. And then people started to say, Mark, you need to stop doing that. So I started trying not to do that. But basically, I've got about 20 ones I could do right now. So I went used to vote, I went in narrowed down to three. <laughs> so there's um, one about how I made a Facebook page called Overhead in the West End. Yeah. It turned into a night. It turned into a night. And then um, uh, it turned into me drinking craft beer. <laughs> That's over in the West End. The second one is about the robot classes. Now the robots, because I met a guy outside, it was a protest because scanning pay machines were coming in, and a guy was like, fucking taking our jobs. I was like, who? <laughs> the robots. <laughs> I should send them back to Syria. I was like, <laughs> I didn't even know that. It was the same thing. But apparently it is. And the third one, which is kind of topical, it's kind of about, um, because it's Robbie Burns week. It's <laughs> Robbie Burns! It's just about the time. Yeah, some people love him and hate him, and I know that he, he, he pissed off a lot of people a couple of years ago because they, <laughs> put, they dug him up from the grave and brought him back to life to replace White D on Celebrity Big Brother. <laughs> and a lot of people thought he sold out because he did that. <laughs> and, and, so I did a poem called Robbie Burns in Benefit Street. <laughs> So you just need to decide what would you want. Uh, so it's Rappy Bones and Benefit Street make some noise. A, a one about the robot classes taking everyone's jobs. Oh, uh, over here in the West End. Who won? Who won? <laughs> okay, the last thing I'm going to say is that you should pay attention to the first line because no one ever fucking notices it. <laughs> from the graveyard, they won't let him back in. <laughs> Pretty good. <laughs> if I cough at any point, it's cause it's a good rhyme. <laughs> Bart from the graveyard, they won't let him back in. He's a zombie womanizer when he's guilty as sin. Want an old Scots poem? And just ask him, want a sensitive soul? Just add gin. <clears throat> He's struggling, <laughs> he's struggling to comprehend 2018, not that that would stop his notorious court team to get the fling you need to fame, poetry's obsolete, so he signed up to a show called Benefit Street. <laughs> he recites more scripts than Merrill Street, and chooses Eki over Lecky cause the price too steep, cameras are always on him. One way or another, Big Brother was watching him, watching Big Brother, a poignant moment. So she sent an act in cunning, he verbally slapped the currents currently running. His country being sold out to Amazon and Google, but they cut away to him, munching a pot noodle. <laughs> the reincarnated Robbie Burns last night, with a shovel, a hip flask and a flashlight. No one cares what Robbie thinks of it, taxing the elite, they only care what Robbie Burns on benefit. Street. The re Robbie's a joke now. If you, I was going through the chorus twice and I went, there's no band. <laughs> it's a cappella. <laughs> Robbie's a joke now. The viewers are laughing at a tapping paparazzi by his own home. Habitat means too small for concepts. They need the characters. Won't get funding for an idea unless you fit the narrative. We need two dimensional wee shapes, three stripes to great delight when uh, for he fights, smokes Berlin, they roll ups to suppress his appetite. Food's really on the menu, cause money's too tight. Watch his colour TV, cause nothing's up for black and white. <clears throat> as he prays for a cracking ride before he's back inside those losing get a do, and as they go and gets good, poverty porn hustlers razzle with a Ned Troop. Get loop as it ain't only attentive, get inventive about new ways to fuck you with financial incentive. If Rabbi painted a picture about it, I'm be quite, quite inventive, but it started with a spliff. 
Well, the episode ended. The reincarnated Rappy Bombs last night with the shovel, a uh, flash can, a flash light, <laughs> because Rappy thinks about Tax and Elite Lawgiver, Rappy Bombs on Benefit Street. <coughs> <laughs> Rappy's name is Muddy by Broadsheets, Clarkson and Little John be Little his broad speech, his regional accent is multi multi weak. George Osborne uses him as an election plea. <laughs> from the street, young team to the club drug scene. The Travel Bones is just another Marvin from the scheme. Marvel Super T, the anti hero, ignorant the Roman numerals, concept of zero. Sakuchin. <laughs> 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 Hi, I'm here to fix the deficit, the love of the liberate deception to the desperate and a desolate square mile for naming whole towns, addressing the haggis with decaying pass me downs, they are playing the system by refusing to die. We build this city! On ratings and a lie, squeeze the middle of the door, where Eric Pickles busts his cross to blend the fictional death for the fiddler of the north, and benefits and proud of the hunger and the struggle to eight percent, which they kind of keep one huddle on, benefits and proud of the breed, we made our people in the cheek, and that's the needles by keeping lack of eating, proud of inflation, holding my phone into ransom, proud of being sick, hate the truth inside, you don't benefits and proud of the overcrowded tenement, so they say that take red, get let us out of missing print, of the benefits and new peace expenses, we get some Tries to buy higher fences, proud to wear a lot becoming such a dive. We're being a fist of proof of number one in Channel 5. Mama G! I'm doing that twice the working class. I've had to sneak this fucking hip hop thing into poetry. <laughs> Rebecca Watts will be fucking raging now. <laughs> Anyway, that's a poetry joke for poets. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know. Uh, Can you explain it to the working class? No, no, I fucking have to get fucking time, man. This is just like getting fucking towards the end of that thing before the, 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 the thing that I'm going to do with Francis <laughs> later. And uh, so to finish off, oh no, I need a score here. But who have I not asked? Is there anybody left in this room that isn't a fucking poet? Oh, oh, Angie's pal. <laughs> What's your name? Diane. Diane. I got a score for Matt McGee. You love that guy, didn't you? Ten. Woo! Ten! Yeah. The working classes! Woo! It's fucking unbelievable what's happened. And I thought, okay, I thought like Corbin was just one bit then Richard Lennon was like, it's just fucking unbelievable, it just keeps happening. <laughs> anyway, we're getting back to the end now. The fight back, the fight back for the middle classes, the most middle class man in the room, the most middle class man in Scotland, <laughs> Mr. Callum Roger.